Uh, so we got halyard shackles up here. We've got our old popular standard halyards as well as our uh, two to ones and our lesser known two to one splits that can open like a snatch block. Uh, popular when you want to take your halyard off, your halyard shackle off your halyard. Um, as well as our low friction rings, all different sizes here, ready to go out. Uh, dog bones, small guys, all the way up to our monstrous DB24 and stainless. Snap shackles over here. We've got our T20s here. The, the most popular and iconic of the Talaska items here um, and a variety of different versions of that as well as our monstrous T40s, T50s, more popular for towing on the super yachts. The old Sparcraft shackle turned Tylaska lifting hook that we have certified for lifting, also popular for super yacht tenders. Um, some of the more Industrial stuff over here, our forged stainless lifting hooks, popular among the fishermen. Um, also sometimes found in the super yachts, uh, stainless version of a tried and true standardized lifting hook. So I got here the H8 2 to 1. This is our shivved halyard shackle uh, that can be used as a 2 to 1 purchase. Uh, we make just about every single component you see here in-house and I can walk you through a few of those processes and how we get from a solid block of metal to uh, one of the nicest halyard shackles you can buy. All right, let's take you into the plant here. So this here is a four-stage process to get from a solid block of aluminum to our uh, our finished halyard uh, case, we call this, the main body of the halyard shackle. Um, so we have four different setups, different stages of it going through. We load it all up. contouring the first uh, passes to get what's a square block of aluminum into something with a nice curves and shapes that our uh, halyard cases have. So right now it's running around the outside here getting that first contour going. Now it's on to side three where it's cutting our slots out. And eventually it'll get around to uh, drilling, tapping our holes, countersinking them, doing our undercut hole we have that works with our captive pin design. So when that all comes out, we have a number of different gauges. We'll check the holes, make sure they're all coming out the right size. We have a thread gauge, make sure our threads are to spec. That they go all the way through. Um, and once that's all complete, uh, these parts will all go down to our tumble finishing room where we'll give them a last finish uh, tumbling in rock media. Um, and after that, they go on the anodizer. And here we have the finished case. All sides milled, gauge our holes, make sure everything's to spec, and uh, then this will go on to tumbling. We're about to go in the tumble finishing room where we do all the finishing of our castings and our aluminum products, and this is where we're gonna take our H821 case and give it a nice smooth finish before it goes off to anodize.
So uh, when that case is all finished and engraved, we also turn our tubular and solid rivets. These are common in a lot of our hardware on our lays here in house. We have our cross pin design. Uh, this is something that we can crimp together to make it captive, which people love about our halyards. You can't lose the pin. So, uh, and this is the shiv with a composite bearing. So we take, put our rivets in, and in our orbital riveter, we will rivet that over to give a nice, strong, solid connection that doesn't impart any residual stresses. And our tubular solid rivet, or sorry, <laughs> our uh, cross pin. These go together, we actually crush this part of the pin to uh, make this one solid pin so that when it's threaded out, it cannot come apart from the church shackle. And uh, at the very end, we'll do a little buffing up of the stainless components, anything that's gotten marred up in the machining process, and uh, add just a little bit of Teflon grease to our threads, and uh, it's ready to go out and get spliced on a halyard.